Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve or bypass a TPM requirement on Windows 11. Where it says this PC cannot run Windows 11. This PC does not meet the minimum system requirements to install this version of Windows. For more information, visit and then it has an address here. So this should be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And this is probably going to be one of the easiest ways that I've found of how to actually resolve this or get around it. So pretty straightforward process. We're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So assuming you're on this screen when you come across this issue, all you have to do is click the back arrow. So just go ahead and click the little back arrow up here. So what you want to do is hold down the Shift and the F10 key on your keyboard at the same time. So hold down those two keys. So again, Shift and F10. I'll have it up on the screen in the video as well. So again, Shift and F10. And now you're going to go ahead and type in regedit. So R-E-G-E-D-I-T. So again, regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Go ahead and hit Enter. Now you're going to double click on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the system folder, so double click on that. And then there should be a setup folder in here. Double click on that one as well. So now you want to just go ahead and right click on the setup folder itself. Select new. And then you want to select key. You want to name this key lab config. First letter of each word should be capitalized here. So L-A-B-C-O-N-F-I-G. The L in lab and the C in config should both be capitalized. Go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard to save that. And now on the right side, now that you've selected lab config, you want to right click in a blank area, select new, and then select the word 32-bit value. You want to name, there's going to be three different values we're going to type in here. First one is going to be bypass. And then TPM check. Notice my capitalization here. So again, bypass, TPM, TPM should be capitalized. Check, C and check, and the B and bypass should all be capitalized. Go ahead and hit enter. And now you want to create another key. So right click under here, select new, and then D word 32 bit value. Name this key bypass, and then RAM, R-A-M, check. Again, exactly how you see it on my screen. Go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard. And now we're also going to go and right click again, new, D word 32 bit value, and we're going to name it bypass secure boot, check, exactly how you see it on my screen, so again bypass secure boot, check, go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard to save that. And, you know, there's one additional one. If your CPU is not supported, might as well throw it in here. And just right-click in a blank area, select New, and then DBR 32-bit value. Name this Bypass CPU Check. Go ahead and hit Enter on your keyboard. And now that you've done that, you want to double-click on each one of these one at a time and set the value data to 1. So type in a numerical value of 1. Select OK. And again, do that for all of the values we just created here. Please keep in mind that this is officially unsupported by Microsoft, and they say that they may not provide certain updates for computers that do not have these functionalities on their computers. So if you don't have a TPM enabled, or you don't have the certain amount of CPU or secure boot, but generally speaking right now, I haven't seen any personal issues. I still see updates being provided for computers that are not supported. That could certainly change in the future. Microsoft is entitled to do that. But I'm just pointing it out there. Um, I could have done this earlier in the video or at the end, but it shouldn't really have changed anyone's perspective on whether they were going to proceed with this or not. But anyway, we haven't even installed Windows yet. But go ahead and close out of all that once you've created those entries. I did four entries in total. And back to the screen, the Windows Setup screen. I'm going to go ahead and select the version of Windows you wanted to install. And then select Next. And there shouldn't be any message any longer about you can see it doesn't say anything that it's not supported. So if you just agree to the license terms and then select install and then either do upgrade or custom. Again, pretty straightforward process, guys. You can see that we weren't able to get this far before. So you should be good to go. So pretty straightforward process. Dubai is able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.